Hey, okay, so uh, <clears throat> we're trying to be back with some Fall or Fail Army, so let's do a quick news roundup. That's right, you remember the, the bites, the mini bites of news? We're going to do some of that. So, without further ado, let's get back into some Fall or Fail Army news updates. That's right, there needs to be some sort of music for this. It should be music playing. Is it music playing? I really can't hear. Um, this part of the production process, it's all winging and a prayer. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They, they, they probably cut me out by now, huh? Okay, let's get into some news. Uh, so, uh, by the way, uh, the quick topics that we're going to talk to you about is basically the future of board games using augmented reality, possibly virtual reality going forward, we'll see. We're also going to be talking about Halo and how they have just had another delay and lost another director. What is Microsoft doing? We don't know. And then also we're going to talk about the PSVR camera adapter for the PS5. How you can get your hands on one for free. Go to a web page, fill out a form, and then hope for the best. Uh, <laughs> that's basically it as a small news roundup there's also some ancillary tidbits that we are not going to link but we do want to have a mention because we grew up with these things uh tiny tunes uh, animaniacs and indeed darkwing duck are all making a resurgence in uh cartoons and i couldn't be happier so you could probably google those yourself but we're going to go ahead and talk about the other three issues the uh xbox the playstation and of course the board games but we just wanted to let you know now let's get to some news Okay, so the first item on our docket, we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite. It seems like Halo Infinite has lost yet another director. Um, so, according to a report in Bloomberg, basically the 343 Industry studio head, uh, Chris Lee, who oversaw the production for Halo Infinite, is now officially off the project. In fact, he was quoted as saying, I have stepped back from Infinite and am looking for future opportunities. <laughs> this does not bode well. Apparently, this also follows a hefty post-delay leadership change up in which per the report says that Lee's role was sidelined after Microsoft handed the keys over to another veteran uh, Joe Staten in August so obviously there's some you know uh, quashing of their heads uh, uh, basically when your creativity and your authority has been undermined what well what do you do honestly I I, ha I have to give the guy you know the fond farewell he should go elsewhere if that's what they're gonna do to you why even work there so, um, also, let's see, last year, Tim Longo, the then creative director for Infinite, also left the project part of a leadership shakeup. Seems like Microsoft has problems doing this a lot. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, basically, that's that. Uh, not going to happen probably here with the Xbox Series and anytime soon. Hmm. <laughs> all right, so next we're going to be talking about board games. We all love board games. You might have played Sorry or Candyland, uh, Monopoly, Life. There are uh, thousands. In fact, they've even, even getting better, you know, from when I was coming up as a lad. So now there's something that we reported on earlier this year, even late last year, that has now blown our minds. Tilt 5, that's right. The startup that was behind the uh, AR-related headset, you know, uh, Kickstarter campaign for tabletop gaming announced that it has secured over 7.5 million in Series A round one funding. That is a huge win. That is basically going to change the entire paradigm of how we play games, where you now have an interactable, uh, you know, tabletop with animations, with, you know, the possibilities here are endless, and it's not just in the realm of board games. You can do other things as well. Uh, the funding round was led by SIP Global Partners with participation from Bitcraft Ventures. Galaxy Interactive and games industry Kevin, uh, sorry, veteran Kevin Birdwell, who is also known for his previous previous work in the Half Life series at Valve. So there you go. The company says that Series A will be used to hire additional employees, build partnerships, and expand available content. And that's very exciting indeed. This was a again a company that started around 2017, and they were just looking to make be what make 500,000 somewhere around that. Within 24 hours, they already hit like 1.7 million, and now here they are seven. 7.5 over. Very well done indeed. So, um, this actually looks to be like it's going to be very uh, progressive, very popular. Maybe not the holiday this year, maybe next year. I can definitely uh, promise you this is going to be something your kids 
uh, adult or otherwise are going to be asking for here in the near future when this comes out. Um, this is priced at about 359 so far. Includes a pair of AR glasses, a game board, and a single wand. There's larger format kids, including, you know, multiple AR glasses and wands and a game board, but that is not expected to arrive until next year. You can, of course, check out Tilt 5, their webpage, or just Google it. Look it up. It's well worth it. It would blow your mind. Okay, so <clears throat> ah, let's get on with the last bit of news. And this is actually interesting because we uh, happened upon this ax by accident today. Um, but it is very relevant to a lot of us. Uh, this is how to get your free PSVR camera adapter for the PlayStation 5. So you know that you can get it for free. You just have to go through a small process. And I'm positive that this is not going to be very long. So you might want to get on the bandwagon now because they will probably stop this probably before the end of the year. So, Sony's next console is releasing here in November, very close, supports the original PSVR headset and to play all PS4 titles on it. However, you still have to use the PS4 uh, peripherals, including the camera. You can't use the new HD camera Sony is now selling because I'm pretty sure they have specific compatibility with unreleased or announced PSVR 2. We'll get into that later. The problem is, is again, you, you can't, you have to, you know, just plug in your PS4 camera. You actually have to use an adapter. Fortunately, Sony is doing the classy thing, but offering to send you out a free adapter to every PSVR owner that requests one, including shipping. To that end, all you have to do is go to the website and you basically request the device. Uh, however, you basically must have your PSVR rendering unit, the uh, item, not the item, the number, the serial number on the back bottom where everything plugs in is what you need. That's what they're going to match in terms of sales, whatever, registration, whether or not you it's been used, I don't know. But you do need to have that. So it's only one per, you know, unit. Um, go to the website, fill it out, and you should have it, hopefully, by the end of the year. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Hi, it's back. We're back. I'm back. And most importantly, <laughs> I'm back. Yay. A full of fail army is here. We're here to work throughout the rest of the year in turmoil. We're going to do it as a team. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're also going to play some games and try to do a giveaway. We're going to try to pick up our spirits and yours as well. So, let's have a laugh. Let's have some fun. Eh? Is this going to get put on? <laughs> 